Jaffa Adventures, Terry King here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another very short video on Land Cruiser 200 modifications. And today I'm going to install a cargo net that sits above the second seat area on the ceiling of the car. So let's have a look exactly what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I've already got one installed in there, and it's one of these cheap eBay jobbies that is basically shock cord and a little bit of netting. And I've simply got two towels stored in there, and it's already starting to sag and look pretty daggy. So unfortunately, Mr. China and eBay has let me down, so I'm going to replace that. So let's have a look at the cargo netting that I bought to replace this. So the item that I have bought is from a company out of the States called Wrangler and it is a pretty solid quality item. The webbing itself is kind of this double thickness type webbing. The strapping is good quality solid strapping. It's got proper clips on it that allow you to make loops and tighten this thing up properly. And that should suffice. And it's actually quite a bit deeper than that eBay one that I've got. I'll grab a tape. So how big is this unit? about 900 long by about 530 deep. So it's a pretty decent size, quite a bit deeper than that eBay piece of crap that I've got. So what's the downside of this puppy? Two, I guess. First of all, it's deer. I paid about 150 Australian, landed out of the US. And the second thing is it took a long time to get here. I bought this in June and it's now the beginning of November and I just received it. So. I did reach out to the company during that time and said, hey guys, what's up with my order? And their response was, hey, we don't have a whole lot of people working, unfortunately, because of COVID. So, you know, it's probably a little bit of an exceptional circumstance in that particular case. If you're interested in this and you want to get one for yourself, uh, this is part number J2000. Just have a look on the Wrangler website. You can get all the details there. I paid full price for this and I've got no affiliation with this company whatsoever. So just bear that in mind. All right, let's head out to the cruiser and install this thing. All right, let's get the crap out of here. A couple of towels and a beanie. Jeez, it's November in Queensland. Won't need that for a while. Now this barrier I held in place with some cable ties. So we need to snip them off. All right, one dead cheap eBay cargo barrier gone. All righty, we'll chuck the Wrangler unit in. We'll simply connect like that. Very simple. Now the back of the barrier for me is simply going to go around the cargo barrier. If you don't have a cargo barrier, they connect to the grab handles that sit in the back here. Now we'll cinch that up nice and tight. And we'll go to the other side. This side will be the same. We'll cinch it up to the cargo barrier. Now we'll tighten up our front ones. Probably a little more loose than that. And we'll cinch a little bit up on the other side. There we have it. We'll tie this onto itself so it's tucked up out of the road. Not bugging anybody. We'll tie this loose end onto itself just to tuck it up out of the road. And that's it, we're done. Pop our towels back up in here. And the beanie, just in case the temperature drops a little. That is bloody awesome. You could swing off of that, like I'm pushing down with everything that I've got right there. And that's as far as it goes down. 
Wonderful. It's exactly what I was after. All right, you know what we're gonna do with Mr. eBay cargo barrier? In the bin. And that job is finished. You know what? Sometimes you gotta make mistakes to learn. Sometimes buying the cheap crap isn't always the best solution. So unfortunately, I've got burnt on that one, but I've learned. Yes, this bit of kit is expensive, but it is going to last 100% the lifetime of the car. So never again am I gonna to have to worry about that bloody cargo net again. Whether this is a solution for you or not, only you can make that decision. But for me, bang on, I'm loving this one. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. There's a whole host of uh, 200 series mod videos in the library. Go check those out if you haven't seen them already. If you have, thanks for watching. I appreciate you following along on the journey. Keep the shiny side up, everybody. Have a good one. Bye now.